Okay, what other predictions for artificial intelligence and machine learning in 2019? What I'm seeing is that we will have more international competition. What I'm seeing is that the competition, especially between the US and China, is heating up, where you suddenly see some trade barriers being put in place, where people become really nervous, where um, national strategies are being developed and they are becoming very competitive at the moment. Um, another key trend that I'm seeing for 2019 is that we will address some of the shortcomings around AI biases and trying to make AIs, especially when it comes to machine learning and deep learning, where we don't actually understand how machines are making decisions, we will make some of these processes more transparent and we will address some of the biased decision making that sometimes comes from using flawed and biased data. The other thing that I'm seeing is that I will see much deeper integration of AI into all parts of businesses, so from business functions like finance and HR and sales and marketing, but also into the, the actual operations around improving efficiencies in the productions and actually delivering better customer services. So all of this will use AI in 2019. The other big trend I'm seeing is that AI actually will create more jobs in 2019. We don't know how this will work out in the long run, but what we're seeing is in the short run, it will definitely create more jobs, tech jobs, it will create around data science and machine learning jobs, and it will also create more jobs around robotics, the Internet of Things. So all of this is actually generating more jobs than it destroys. And there was a recent study that looked at about it will De uh, destroy about 1.8 million jobs and actually create 2.2 million new jobs. So hopefully this is a, a positive move. And finally, what I'm seeing is that AI um, will make chatbots and AI assistants much more useful in 2019. This is a big trend where we use tools like Amazon Alexa and Google Home, but I'm, I'm also now seeing this in lots of organizations where they're apl applying chatbots. I've recently done some work with Unilever where they're now using this to actually use a chatbot with their in internal employees to help them navigate around the company. So these are my five trends international competition around AI, more transparent AI and less biased, um, more AI and automation driving into the businesses, more jobs and actually better AI assistance. If you would like to learn more, head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find tons of articles, white papers and videos that will give you a lot more insights into real-world case studies and examples.